Hi guys, there's a little awkward edit in the middle of this one, that's just because the last bit of the recording got a bit corrupted and it fucked up a little, and I wanted to keep the rest of it, because whilst there's a little, a few issues here and there, which I'm still ironing out, I think it was really nice commentary, and so I'd like very much to keep that part. So it's just a tiny little awkward edit in the middle, and I hope you don't mind that too much. Hello there guys, I'm a dude playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. This is mission 9 of my Nero and Dante, Dante Must Die Difficulty Video Guide. And I accidentally, I'm recording this right after the last mission, and I accidentally changed the game to Lady and Trish. And I accidentally clicked on the Dante Must Die, because I was just autopiloting. Like, I was just thinking about what editing I was going to do later and whatnot. And, um, <laughs> it was fucking brilliant actually, because... I rewatched the cutscene, right? I was like, oh, I'm, I've opened it now. I might as well watch the cutscene. And it was great. Like, I thought it was brilliant. Like, when Dante reached for his pizza and he couldn't eat it and shit. It was fucking brilliant. Like, oh, I fucked up. It was a lot of fun. Oh, am I going to get hit? No. What? Did you see that? Nice fucking bug game. Holy shit. I was devil triggered and I still took the hit. Oh, that is horseshit. <laughs> But I watched the cutscene and I thought it was brilliant. It was really funny and oh man, it was it was a really cool cutscene actually. And it made me think like, I I have I'm not played as Lady and Trish right. Like I fucked around with them for like five minutes in the bloody palace and I, it was a bit too quick of a judgment in all fairness. But I just didn't enjoy it that much. Like they don't seem to be as in depth as the other characters are. Oh, there we go. And I did, didn't want to try them, but I was thinking, like, would people enjoy watching me suck ass with them and learn how to play them? Like, I wouldn't jump straight into Dante Must Die difficulty with them, because I don't know them. But it would be kind of cool to, like, do Son of Sparta or some shit, or even, like, Legendary Dark Knight. Because I'm of the firm belief that Dante Must Die is harder than Legendary Dark Knight. Because the thing of um, Legendary Dark Knight is you have so much... Um... Man, I got hit Devil Triggering again. Fuck's going on today? But um, the thing with Legendary Dark Knight is there's so many enemies that you just get so much Devil Trigger. But then I did only play it as Virgil, so maybe it's harder for the other characters who aren't quite as <coughs> imbalanced, uh, well designed. <laughs> yeah, if, if that's something you guys would really like to see, then, you know, let me know. Like me fucking around as Lady and Trish and getting my ass kicked. Because that is inevitable. So we're on to mission 8. We're almost done with our Nero part of the playthrough, thank god. It's not that I don't enjoy playing as Nero, but like I've said before, I really do want to play as Dante, like he's just so much fun. Got an idea of a few funny things I can do for the videos for it as well, and I think it would be a very enjoyable thing to watch, but we'll find out. I mean that would kind of be similar to the Lady and Trish part where I would just kind of suck ass and I would be learning a bit as I went because I've just not played that much Dante, especially recently. I can't wait. For this mission in particular, I'm fucking grateful that we're at it because we have no more fucking Chimera infected assaults, which I just hate. Like, delete them from the game, please, or give them a tell on their shit. Discuss that in the last video. I won't bore you with that here. And this is where we get to watch me die to fucking lasers because I can't dodge them for some reason. It's not much tips I can really. Oh, don't get hit. Very good tip. Don't get hit. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. God, I love that. I wish it was faster, though. Well, I would gladly sacrifice some damage on that combo for some more speed, just to make it feel more satisfying. Um, but yeah, I don't have really many tips for this one. Just don't get hit. In the elevator sort of areas, it's really hard to camera manipulate, just because like the enemies kind of phase onto the screen. Like you saw it a minute ago, you could see the scarecrow behind me was kind of on the screen by virtue of... It was sort of see-through. It was see-through and that makes it awkward to camera and manipulate but try as much as you can to limit the enemies you're against and you shouldn't have any real problems just gotta wait for this shit oops going to slow motion i was watching um as a youtuber called the seraphim 17 and he was playing neo automator and i was just watching it in the background whilst i was doing some other stuff and i was talking there so I got hit <laughs> and he 
It's interesting, like, I really like that guy. Like, he's a much better YouTuber than I am. He's been in the game a while. He's very good, very entertaining. Please go and watch him if you like this sort of stuff. What I'm doing is similar to what he does, except he's just better. Right? Like, <laughs> no shame in admitting that, he's just better. But he was playing near Automator, and he was talking about difficulty. And he was saying that a lack of checkpoints doesn't constitute correct difficulty. And I'm not entirely convinced I agree with that. The thing is of that game is it did certainly seem to have bad checkpoints. I won't disagree with that in the slightest. Like, it seemed to be very awful in regards to checkpoints. But like, he was—he seemed to expect them a bit too much, you know? And I don't know. Like, what is fair difficulty to you guys? Because to me, like, fair difficulty is... is the, right, so everything needs a counterplay, right? Every single thing needs a counterplay. That is fair. If it doesn't have a counterplay, then it's not fair because you can't counterplay it, right? Uh, no one-hit kills. I don't like one-hit kills in games. Uh, it's slightly different, I guess, for Hell and Hell in this game because you do get three chances, so it's not really a one-hit and it's over type deal. And the player needs to not have to play stupidly defensive just to get through the fight, right? Like, it shouldn't be like that. I think that it should still be as every bit as engaging and interactive as the easier difficulties. But that's my opinion. Like, some people think difficulty is like the way Dark Souls does it, where you die 50 times over, and you have no counterplay the first 50 times, and you have to really learn it to get any good at it and get anywhere. It's a very interesting topic to me, because a lot of people have different ideas of what difficulty should be. Like, to me, Dante Must Die difficulty is fucking perfect. Like, it's the perfect level of difficulty, because it's like, you have a reasonable amount of enemies, the enemies get tougher if you don't kill them quickly, and so aggression is promoted, and you still have your chances to dodge everything, it's just that the enemies have slightly better attacks, which is perfectly reasonable. Ah, oh, I've mistimed that. Although, I, what I wish they would have done is, I wish they would have added a legendary Dark Knight mode. Damn it, I should... <laughs> fuck. I need to focus... But I wish they had done a Legendary Dark Knight mode with Dante Must Die difficulty enemies. Because I think that would be super cool. Come on. Okay, I'm just getting impatient. I'm going to stop talking for a minute because I'm having a hard time doing my shit. There we go. Yeah, so I feel like I wish they had just added that just for the, like, it shouldn't have any rewards or anything like that tied to it. But it would just be cool, you know? Like, would you as a player like to play Dante Must Die difficulty, but with, like, legendary Dark Knight hordes? Oh, you're having a chuckle, come on. Why did that hit me? I was launching a projectile. And I thought of Devil Trigger. Fuck, don't let this be the end. <laughs> don't let me have to re-record this. <laughs> If I do end up re-recording it, I will have to not talk on this, because evidently... Okay, there we go. Because evidently I don't play anywhere near as well as I do when I'm not talking. But yeah, he was talking about checkpoints and whatnot, and to me, like, I feel like checkpoints before any big fight is the way to go. But Hi there, guys. Sorry for that awkward little edit. I didn't want to lose out on some of the commentary, and I just wanted to show off this last little bit. What I've done is, because I've got bit more health than I had last time. I've used all my Devil Trigger to kind of make up for that fact, so I should have similar-ish sort of resources to what I did have, and hopefully that should translate quite well into showing off how you take on this fight. So against Argonus, you want to be hyper-aggressive while he's summoning his dudes, and then you want to kill off his summons really quickly, because otherwise they'll just overwhelm you, and there is a strength in numbers, absolutely. So you see here, going hyper-aggressive, then when they're about to attack, I back dodge them, and then you want to take care of them. Take that. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, shit. I didn't notice. Oh, I didn't get the stun. Okay, so if I had noticed I got the stun there, I would have uh, gone for it. I got it again. I didn't know that happened. I've never actually missed it before. <clears throat> so obviously, stop killing his dudes if you have an opportunity to get a grab off. But otherwise, I would say absolutely get rid of them. Take that, you little bitch. Oh, come on. Suck it. And it's as simple as that. You just want to alternate between hyper-aggression and killing off his summons. Ah, shit. Didn't have to get hit there, but I'm bad. No! Come on, Kyle, wake up. <laughs> oh, I was not paying much attention there. That's a lie, I just played it badly. 
But yeah, even though I fucked it up there, you still get a good demonstration of how the fight goes. Hyper-aggression, and then you have to take out his summons. You really pick your moment. Everything is quite telegraphed, so it shouldn't be a problem to deal with. And... Suck it. Nice. So yeah, that's how you take that. I hope that was a good enough video for you guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.